Is this my child? What do you mean? This child. Should have the surname Scott. <laughs> Mike, you're really going too far to say such things. I bought this child. I can pretend nothing happened. Don't even think about it. My patience has its limits. You don't believe me, right? I'll prove it to you. If you dare to abort my child, I'll die in front of you. Do you believe me now? I believe you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have doubted you. Because that weak, incompetent, and ignorant Quinn died three years ago. You're nothing like her at all. This is the patient's examination report. Thank you. The patient has no problems. Everything is normal. Keep the mood stable. The blood type is RH negative. Quinn also has this blood type. Quinn! This back. Why does it look so alike? Mr. Gray. Hello, I'm Martha. It's Martha. Haven't we met before? Guess it. This is her favorite music. How do you know it? Since it's Mr. Gray's favorite. I learned it all. This is the necklace I gave her back then. But why is it with Martha? Why are there so many coincidences? Mike, what are you thinking? Your blood type is RH negative. I... Not many people have this blood type. She also has this blood type. Mike, you're overthinking. Is that so? But don't you think there are too many coincidences? But don't you think there are too many coincidences? Mike, where are you taking me? You'll find out soon. Miss, you're so filial. You've come to worship again. Is there anything else for you to explain? Sir, did you mistake me for someone else? Is that so? I shouldn't be. That day you were together with someone. Sir, you really mistook me. Sorry, maybe I mistook you for someone else. Mike, you got it wrong. The blood type is just a coincidence. Is that true? Then tell Uncle Zion directly who you are. Why? Can't say it. I am Martha. The person lying here, I don't know him. Dad, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mike, if I remember correctly, Miss Xander seemed to have been personally taken to cremation by Tanya, right? She's lying right here. How could she come back to life? Could it be that I've been imitating her all along, getting too deep into the role?
Is all of this really just a coincidence? Why did you come? Go back. Martha, I won't force you anymore. Whoever you are, as long as you can be with me, that's all that matters. Tomorrow night is the banquet of the Stars Group. Take me there. What do you want to do? Aren't you curious about who I am? Tomorrow night, I'll give you an answer. Sleep. That's Mr. Grey. Who's that beside him? So pretty. It seems like her name is Martha Scott. The wedding incident caused quite a stir some time ago, but now it seems that the two of them are indeed well matched. Martha does have more elegance than Rani. Mike! This Staza's banquet, it's not like just anyone can come in! Why did you bring her here? People without manners, like Miss Sander, also got in. You- Rani, be polite. She's now my girlfriend. Mike! Mr. Grey obviously doesn't want to talk with her, yet she eagerly went up to him. It's so funny. Usually she's so arrogant because of the Xander family's support. She looks like a clown now. You all shut up! Martha, let's see how long you can be proud. Let's wait and see. Mike, let's go. Rani, don't make a fuss. Mom will definitely let you vent your anger later. Mrs. Lopez, what a coincidence. Didn't expect to meet you here. You look a bit unwell. What's wrong? Didn't rest well? Had nightmares? Martha, first you took Mike from Ronnie, then you repeatedly provoked me. Do you think I can't deal with you? Mrs. Lopez, I'm not as easy to deal with as Quinn back then. You'd better be polite to me. What do you want? I want all of you to leave the Xander family. Are you Quinn? No. Impossible. She's already dead. Who are you to her? The day you all leave the Xander family, you'll know. Let me tell you, it won't happen. Then let's wait and see. Martha, today's attendees are all distinguished figures. If you embarrass yourself publicly, I wonder how to turn the tables. Why did you take so long? Is everything alright? Everything's fine. Martha. You said you wanted to hold a banquet. I want to reveal my identity on that day in public. Alright, I'll go arrange it. I've already gained Mike's heart now. Next step, I want to use the identity of Scott family's daughter to marry into the Grey family. Once I marry into the Grey family, I'll be closer to the truth and the evidence. It'll be easy to control her later. But if Mike finds out... What do you think he'll do? Welcome to the Scotts Family Banquet. My grandfather will be here soon. Mr. Scott, what's the special significance of the Scotts Family Banquet today? Yeah, the Scott Family rarely hosts banquets. Why such a grand one this time? Because someone today will be public introduced to everyone. The Scott Family is the largest domestic conglomerate. Who has such prestige to make the Scott Family value it so much? That's right. Why not give us a hint? Everyone, please be patient. You'll find out soon. Martha, don't you know you're pregnant? All right, I won't drink. Mr. Scott, I'll take care of my girlfriend. You don't need to bother. You'd better take good care of her. 
If Martha is even slightly unhappy, I won't let you off. Stay away from her. What's going on? Oh, Mike. Are you jealous? Miss Martha, have you seen my necklace? Mrs. Lopez, what do you mean? I only saw you just now. The necklace wasn't taken by you, was it? Are you implying I stole your necklace? That's a piece designed by the chief jewelry designer, Carrie. It's the only one in the world. It's worth millions. Among those present, there's only you from the slums, right? Oh my, besides you, who else could have stolen it? Miss Sander, watch your mouth. If you haven't seen it, let me search it. Granny, think quiet before you speak. I don't want to suspect her either, but I only saw her just now. If it wasn't her, then who? Martha? Do you dare let us search it? You want to search my bag? You're not qualified yet. I think you must be feeling guilty. Martha, you're nothing but a thief. You dare hit me? Martha, you not only steal, but also resort to violence. You've gone too far. Too far? Do you want to see how much further I can go? You better present some evidence, or I won't let you off. You actually protecting this thief? Martha! Huh? Isn't this my necklace? Martha, do you have anything to say now? When did she put it in? I'm telling you, this kind of thing will never happen. Then let's wait and see. How could this happen? You don't believe me? Of course I believe you. You wouldn't do this. Everyone sees it now. Martha, she's just a thief. After all, she came from the lower class. Even if you manage to climb up to Mr. Gray, you still can't change your petty nature. She can even steal. Really shameful. If it were me, I wouldn't dare show my face. Martha really is shameless. Martha, if you want this necklace, there's no need to steal it. Kneel now and lick my shoes. I'll consider giving it to you. You can even resort to such low-level tactics. I really overestimated you all. I've said it before. Those who go against me will never have a good outcome. Martha, this is your own doing. Is that so? Let's wait and see. What do you mean? Everyone? About this matter, I have a surveillance video. You all can see clearly what really happened. I believe everyone's eyes are sharp. This is not possible! The video is fake! You've been in cahoots with Martha long ago. This is a video you intentionally helped her fabricate. Miss Thander, what do you mean by that? Martha, isn't she Mr. Gray's girlfriend? Oh. This Martha, she's an unfaithful woman. Before she got together with Mike, she hooked up with Martin. I even have photos. Everyone, take a look. Martha is quite something. She's involved with Mr. Gray and Mr. Scott at the same time. Shameless. Martha is my woman. I advise you to think carefully before speaking. These photos are real. I indeed have a relationship with Martha. What did you say? Martha is the precious daughter of the Scott family. She's my sister. Impossible! Martha's an orphan. How could she be the daughter of the Scott family? Mr. Scott, are you choking with us? Dad? Dad, you're back. Mr. Scott Sr. is here.
Everyone, this is my youngest daughter, Martha Scott. She is my precious daughter. So this is Miss Scott. No wonder she's so beautiful. A proper young lady. Anyone who dares to bully her will disappear from the capital. Security! Mom! Gather these two out of here! Mr. Scott! Mr. Scott! Sir Scott! Anyone who associates with them is an enemy of the Scott family! Are you okay, Martha? Dad, thank you for standing up for me. This is my boyfriend, Michael Gray. Then you left home because of this guy? Dad! Don't scare him. Is this your answer to me? Am I so easy to bully? I've been played by you all along. Mike! Miss Scott comes from a noble family. I'm not worthy to be your boyfriend. Mike! This? Mike! Play is over. Is there anything else? Can you let me explain? Explain what? Do you find it amusing? Have you spoken a truthful word? Have you spoken a truthful word? If I don't conceal my identity, would you let me get close to you? Of course not. How could I possibly match up to the Scots family daughter? I like you. That's why I concealed my identity to get close to you. But I won't believe what you say anymore. Stay away from me in the future. I don't want to see you again. Martha, don't force yourself anymore. Let me help you. You and Dad have already helped me a lot. I'll handle the next things on my own. You're still so stubborn. What about Mike? What are you going to do? Proceed as planned. Mrs. Lopez, regarding the matter at the Scott family, you caused our company's stocks to plummet. Because of the Scott's family statement, many customers unsubscribed, leading to massive losses for the company. Don't you think you owe us an explanation? Yes, you owe us an explanation. All directors, I don't want this to happen either. Mrs. Lopez, speaking these words now won't help much. In my opinion, a lot of money, either you compensated for yourself or you stepped down as chairman. We will hold another press conference to clarify this matter. Over these years, how much profit have I brought you? Now, just because of the small matter, you force me like this? Miss Lopez, let's be clear about this. We can't just talk about emotions. We must consider interests, right? Yes, that's yes, right. Yes, that's right. We hope you can handle this matter as soon as possible. Otherwise, don't blame us for being ruthless. Yes, that's right. You... You... Those old things, they flatter and please all the time. As soon as something happens, they turn their backs. They said if I can't cover that loss, they'll force me to step down. Step down? Mom, if you step down, then we'll have nothing left. I've worked hard to hold on to this. I won't let go of it so easily. Mom, why don't you go borrow money from Uncle Sam? Our relationship with him has always been good. He'll definitely help us. I'll go now. What did you say? Borrow a hundred million dollars. Sam, you're the only one who can help me now. Lend me the money first. This isn't a small amount. I also can't get it all at once. What do you mean? You don't want to lend me the money? Sam, the money you took from the Xander family wasn't just a hundred million dollars. What's the rush? 
I didn't say I wouldn't help you. I warn you. You have quite a few handles in my hands. If you don't help me, I'll release them all online. You dare? See if I dare! Tanya! Tanya! Why mess with the Scott family? Idiot. Dogs biting each other is quite entertaining. Let's add fuel to the fire and make all of this burn even brighter. Release the scandals of Tanya and Sam. Miss Scott, Mr. Gray's at our bar. He's drunk. Please come over to pick him up. All right, I got it. Slowly. Why is it you? Why did you drink so much? I don't need you to care. Just go. Are you leaving or not? Then I won't care about you anymore. Mother! Mike! Doctor, how is he? The patient twisted his ankle and has multiple abrasions on his body. Fortunately, these are external injuries. Take the medication properly and rest for a while. He'll be fine. Thank you, doctor. Mike. Who owes more to whom between us? <sighs> what should I do with you? I clearly said make you fall in love with me, then abandon you. Can you stop playing with my heart? Mike? Are you awake? My leg. It's broken. The doctor said you may not be able to stand up for the rest of your life. What are you saying? Now you're anxious. Why didn't you care about your life when you threw yourself at me? Are you implying that I should watch you die? You would rather sacrifice yourself to save me? Are you in love with me? I'm just... No! Alright... Since nobody cares about me, what's the point of living? I'm going to stand in the middle of the road. Are you out of your mind? Do you like my crazy, right? Alright, I'm it. I can't let you go. Are you satisfied now? Mr. Gray. Mike. Let's make up, okay? <laughs> 